I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters and he restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Thank you, mighty God, that you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Hey, good morning. Welcome to WFGC Live Sunday School. I'm Auntie Lorna. And I'm Auntie Evie. And we're sisters. And friends. Auntie Evie's going to tell us a story this morning. So I pray that you will open your heart and receive the story into your heart because the story comes straight from the Word of God. The verse we're going to be talking about today, it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No matter what we are going through, the Good Shepherd will always walk with us, even when we're walking through the most dangerous path. Have you ever been on a walk and you need to walk with your mom or your daddy? You need to hold their hand really tight and they're going to guide you. Sometimes you even can go on a guided tour where you take a guide with you who guides you through those dangerous paths and those dangerous places. They know exactly where they're going. And the same as the Good Shepherd guiding the sheep, he knew exactly where the thorns and the hard places, he knew where the thistles, the bushes were. He would even guard them from the wild animals and he would keep them safe. He called each sheep by name, he knew them and he would guide them safely through those dangerous dark places. He would lead them safely and even we can read a verse in the Bible that says in Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 it says, But the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Even though no matter what we're going through, God has got us and he's going to keep us safe. No matter what we're going through, he'll guard us from the evil one. He's going to guard us safely on the dangerous path. He has got us by our hand and we need to learn to listen to the Lord's voice and listen to him. Father God, we just pray that the children will feel your love as you guard them in such a special way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I decree and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I know that Jesus loves me very much. I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save me. I lift my hands and I say out loud that Jesus Christ is Lord. 